All right, uh, Mike Laval from Last Word on College Football, breaking down Tennessee's appearance at uh, SEC Media Days on a Monday. It was once famously said by somebody that uh, if you've got two quarterbacks, then you don't have any quarterbacks. It has worked, not frequently, but it has worked to alternate quarterbacks or uh, go for the hot hand or look at uh, the style of quarterback versus the defense. There's a number of ways to do it uh, or test out uh, and let them compete for a few weeks before you make the selection. And that may not necessarily be what ends up being the, the result of the competition in August, but at least Butch Jones, Mike, has left it open to that being the result. Yeah, one of the other things coming out of uh, media days uh, from Butch Jones was his declaration that the that, that, that two-quarterback system is entirely possible uh, going into the first game against Georgia Tech. Uh, now, if you look at the I, – I think the quarterback position is is one is probably the biggest difference between college football and the National Football League. In, in the NFL, a two-quarterback system is, is just absolutely – uh, you, you know, it's 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 a recipe for disaster. It'll get a coach fired very quickly. You just can't win, uh, you know, with two quarterback system in the NFL. And and you're saying is absolutely right when you sign two starting quarterbacks and you have two guys and you really have none. I think it's a little bit different in college football. I'm not a big fan of the two quarterback system because I like having one guy under center and I like having one guy in the leadership role. Uh, but if you look at the the incredible amount of freshmen or, or first-year starting quarterbacks to lead their teams to national championships over the past decade. And if you look at the success that young quarterbacks can have, I think that tells us, I think that's an empirical, <clears throat> I think that's an empirical statement on the fact that the quarterback position is not as important in college football as it is in professional football. It's still an important position, obviously, and it's probably still the most important position, at least on the offense, but I don't think it's paramount like it is in the NFL. You're you know, Very rarely are you going to win a, a championship in professional football uh, without a, an elite, what they what I like to call the elite quarterback. And then I think in college football, you can win championships uh, with with quarterbacks who are not elite or at least not known to be elite quite yet. And if you look back at all the all the first year starting quarterbacks over the last decade who have won national championships, I kind of think that that data drives that. So I'm not I'm not a big fan of the two quarterback system, but in college, I think it can work. Uh, it's going to be interesting uh, to see to see if Butch Jones tries to do the qu two quarterback system because with all the with all the uh, the pro Butch anti Butch all the you know we just talked about the Tennessee fan psyche that would just be one more thing to add on to uh, an already mounting frustration going into the 2017 season uh, you know the, the feeling amongst the fan base is, is that the 2017 season is really a, a make or break season for Butch Jones a lot of people think that. Uh, and so adding the pressure of, of a two quarterback system or the friction of a two quarterback system to an already pressure laden 2017 season, particularly when you have Georgia Tech, a quality team who beat three SEC East teams last year and Florida and Georgia, all those within the first uh, five or six games of the season. Uh, you know, you kind of like to have that ironed out. Uh, but if you go in with a two-quarterback system, that's one more point of friction to an already stressful season. Tom Landry, one of the greatest uh, coaches in the history of the NFL, who admitted to few mistakes, once said that uh, the biggest mistake he made in his career was alternating Craig Morton and Roger Staubach and almost uh, completely blowing up a season. But he caught himself in time and made the decision about midseason. Staubach uh, led the Cowboys to a Super Bowl championship.